Hello, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to be talking about Copilot Plus desktops and if we are capable of running Copilot Plus on a desktop. The answer is no, not at the moment. Uh, I know that the laptops are releasing June 18th, June 17th, somewhere around there, and mobile, as in laptops, laptop devices will be capable of running Copilot Plus, but the current generation of desktops running AMD or Intel's uh, CPUs will not be capable of running Copilot Plus. So let's get into it. Um, as you can see, the 14900KS, uh, which is out available right now, um, NPU, nowhere to be found. Uh, AMD, NPUs, let's take a look it's to be found but if we scroll down and dive into this article it's just on their laptop devices um, as you can see here they're gonna have 50 teraflops uh, NPU on the um, CPU which is more than enough I think Copilot Plus requires 40 teraflops and uh, if we scroll down on AMD to the desktop models of the new upcoming chips, they do not mention NPUs at all. And the reason is, is for AMD, the dies that the next generation are using is actually based on the same die as the Ryzen 9 uh, 7950X. So that's kind of the situation we're in. Um, it's Microsoft's decision not to let us use our GPUs or CPUs and require us to have NPUs. So we're looking at maybe 2025, 2026 even for NPUs on desktop uh, processors, which is quite a shame for us that want to test out Copilot Plus on our beefy computers. Like I've got a six to ten thousand dollar computer with a forty ninety, and I can run Meta's new Llama three seventy billion model just fine. It's a bit slow, I'll give you that, but I can run it, and the eight billion model runs very quickly. So if you're interested in running AI on your computer and you have the hardware to do so. Um, basically, it just requires a heavy-duty graphics card with at least 24 gigabytes of um, onboard memory. Uh, I suggest the 4090, but hey, if you don't have the money for it, find what works for you. But anyway, uh, how to use it? Uh, I would recommend going to Olama and downloading Olama. It's the easiest way I've found on PC to set it up. Um, you basically download Olama, install it, and then uh, you get an interface like uh, Open Web UI, and you can see the interface down here. But basically, you can download one of these models from Olama, or even go to Hugging Face and download directly from there. Um, you just click on it, find the model that you want. I always go big or go home, as they say, and. Uh, get it set up that way. Uh, there's also another web interface called Anything LLM and the reason I recommend this interface is that you can integrate searches, uh, search engine APIs like Bing or Google and connect your Llama 3 to the internet to scrape websites or uh, just do random searches. I've tested it out a bit and it's okay. It it doesn't work as well as a human would do, or um, some of the perplexity AI. Uh, this is kind of similar to how it works. You can type in whatever you want, and what is Olama, for instance, and it'll show you the sources and then give you an answer. Um, anything LLM's interface is pretty pretty good, but it the results because of the models training set uh, don't quite, they're just not as good as perplexity AI, 
But anyway, uh, the main thing I wanted to get across is that even though we've got state-of-the-art streaming desktop gaming computers, we won't be able to use Copilot Plus unless Microsoft decides to allow us to use GPUs or CPUs, hopefully GPUs, um, to do some of the processing. Or some genius out there figures a way how to hack around the situation. Um, but anyway, that's it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>